Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bring you another Wildstar game video. This time we're going to talk about what to do at 50. So if you just hit 50 and you kind of enjoy PvP, uh, what do you do? Well, I'm going to help you with that. So let's get started on what to do. As a 50, the first thing you want to do is get your runes. Uh, it makes a big, big difference in Wildstar to be completely runed out versus, you know, fresh 50 gear. Uh, so first thing you want to do is start getting your runes and in order to do that we're going to start completing challenges and the way we do this is any of the 50 zones have kind of shared challenge rewards where you can kind of leverage different challenges to get rune bags. The first set of challenges that we're going to do is in Crimson Badlands. It's going to start off in the Megatech Shield Generator area, the Venomite Pass and this I think it's called the Blood ocean bud lake or something like that somewhere around here there's another challenge that we can complete and pretty much if you can achieve gold on all three you will be able to get uh you know to get reward tier three there's actually one more challenge that you can do up here but that's kind of difficult unless you're in a group because you have to do some you know some little nifty tricks otherwise you don't, we won't be able to get a gold out of it so our first challenge, as I mentioned, is the Megatech Shield Generator. If it's the first time you're here, all you have to do is kill these scar hides, and it will automatically start. Since I am already done this, I'm going to go ahead, open up my challenge log, go to ready, and you can see right here, kill scar hides. I'm going to start that one up, and then go to town. So while we're doing this, we're actually going to queue up for PvP. So you know, if we are PvPers, we are not PvPers. So we're going to queue up for PvP while we do this. And what's going to happen is if a queue pops um, during one of your challenges, I personally prefer the, you know, the PvP queue over, over the challenge. So I'll oftentimes take the, the queue, uh, you know, lose out on the challenge, and then come back and complete the challenge at a later time. If you achieve gold, pretty much you'll be able to get the next reward tier. It's almost guaranteed. I've rarely had an occasion where I've gotten gold and not been able to get, you know, the next tier of, uh, of rewards. Double. So the next one's quite simple. It is in the Bloodstone Canyon in Crimson Badlands. So if you start off here in as a as a Dominion, I don't know where Exile start off. I think maybe around here somewhere. Not too sure. But if you start around here, uh, all you have to do is go out to the Bloodstone Canyon. And what you're going to do is you're going to do some challenges right around here. So let's get that one started. For that one, if you haven't been here before, it, are, it is these crates. They will be clickable. Since I've done it before, all I had to do is go here, recover abandoned supplies, and let's go ahead and start it. And all you challenge need is 20 of them uh, to complete the challenge. Actually, 18. Huh. I thought it was 20. That's odd. So here you go, I completed that challenge, got gold, and I pretty much got the next reward here. I'm going to go ahead and get the high rune bag. I mean, the high one for, I guess, somewhat geared out people is not going to be that good because high is level 50, whereas the superb is what we want. But if you look at your reward tier, your last one's a superb bag, and that's what we're kind of going to go for. This one, even though it says high rune crafting, uh, this is going to get you some superb, uh, superb runes. So the third and final one in the Crimson Badlands is in this body of water and all you had to do is rescue these drowned uh, NPCs. They're not really NPCs, they're just drowned things. Uh, since I've again, since I've already done it, I'm going to go ahead and open up the challenge log and start the waterlogged one. Challenge and all I had to do is uh, kind of, you know, put some these little balloons on them. This really helps if you have a uh, tap that that will automate your F clicks for you. Uh, it's an add-on that you can get, and I'll actually post that on the bottom of this uh, the video description. And having the having that that add-on helps a lot because you don't have to, you know, press and hold this every single time. You just hit it F once, and it automatically, you know, does it for you. This one I'm about to pretty much get gold right now, and you'll see as soon as I get gold, I'll unlock the tier three one. Boom, 375. Unlock my tier three. I'm gonna go ahead and select the high room crafting cache as my reward. And then, if I open it up, 
I have a small chance I get the high set minor but there is a chance to get the purple one which is your major um, in my experience it's about like one in three bags I open I'll get it but the big thing is being able to get these uh, you know these signs if you need it especially if you're crafting a lot of sets you'll need those signs I personally like doing this while waiting for PvP because it gives me and it gives me something to do instead of just standing around Ilum and just waiting for the PvP pop to happen. It allows me to kind of go out in the world, actually somewhat help help myself get geared out instead of relying solely on the PvP rewards. So that pretty much wraps up our quick video to what to do at 50 to get geared out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any other tips and tricks that you yourself do. Leave it in the comment section. If you liked the video, please do like and subscribe and I will see you next time.